Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another stream. My name is Ramesh Harakrishna Sami, and I'm super excited to be here streaming again. This is my second stream. Hope you all watched the uh, first stream. <laughs> Um, again, it's all about generative field that we covered um, the previous stream and even today we're going to look at generative field as well. Um, just a piece of advice, you know, if you can, you know, always invest on your skills um, by watching all this free um, streaming uh, content. Um, again, try to add up to your knowledge. Uh, it will be super beneficial for you in your future. Um, so yeah, that's something that I myself um, do every single day. Um, every night, I will be spending around two to three hours, you know, whether or not I have idea or not, it doesn't matter. Just open up Photoshop and I'll just scribble something and all of a sudden, all, out of nowhere, I'll get an idea. So that's that's how amazing it is by practicing. Again, you will never get perfect, but you'll get better. Um, that's it. I think we should jump to um, our um, to this stream. It's all about generative field. Um, Yay, let's see what I have today in my Photoshop beta. Again, I love, I I mean, I love my Photoshop beta and I've been using generative field. I have no idea for how long already. <laughs> it's um, it's life savior. That's what I would say. And um, so, yeah, and today I will be talking about, as the title says, nature. So what exactly nature, right? Again, nature, we have so many things going on, right? And I want to cover up, cover something on um, animals. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys seen most of my artwork. I love featuring animals. Um, there's a lot of messaging that can be conveyed through them. And I thought it would be nice to actually talk about Bambi or small little deer over here. So what is this Bambi doing right now? Um, so imagine this, right? Imagine you have given a photo like this. What can you do with piece of uh, photo like this? A lot of things. And I'm going to show you a couple of infinite possibilities that you guys can create out of this photo. Um, again, let me just quickly jump on into my another canvas. Um, so if you notice, they are, I'll be showing a few different um, settings of this image. Um, like. This is one of the examples. Imagine there's a deer and there's an abandoned um, plane. And then there's also this. With generative field, you can actually create a reflective lake where it will actually reflect the deer, <laughs> right? So how, that's how powerful generative field is. And then like this, a very misty forest. Um, again, it's all in your prompt. You just need to increase the canvas and then you can go crazy, which I'm going to do a quick demo, a um, couple of it. And then we're going to jump into a um, pretty interesting task. Uh, and I'll let you know what is that exactly. And here you have like a snowy looking forest. Imagine all this taken from here. Literally, this is the image. I expanded the canvas and this is what I get using different from, of course. And then a night scenery. And what doesn't change is the deer. The, the deer or the Bambi will just stay there. And what changes is the surrounding. Isn't that magical what generative field can do? And this is another example. And this, right? Um. So yeah, why don't we create couple of this again and then um and then i show you what are we going to do for today uh, let's call this number eight i just need a borrow this image here i'm gonna just drag this here there you go so how do you actually create a generative field is that you just need to expand like for example like this you just need to let me just zoom this very quickly um highlight um, not all the, okay, this is something that I, I learned from generative field is that you don't have to highlight every, the whole entire image, right? You can just highlight, just leave a bit of blank space. This is reason because, uh, when generative field do its thing, it, it needs a bit of space to, uh, merge into that image, right? So it's important to leave a, a space. So that's that. Once you highlight it, highlight it, you need to invert. So how do you invert? You just press on this particular icon and you get inverted. How do you find out? You will actually see a rectangle, um, like dotted lines moving all around the canvas. And with that, you just need to do, again, the magic. 
what prompt you want to create just type it in let me drag this up so that you guys can see um let's say i want misty oops let me type that again okay misty forest okay just like that and generate and let's see what happens again it will go to the server and it'll it'll do its thing it will just merge up a few images i guess again i don't know how ai works here but most of the time that's how it's done it'll look up there you go did you notice how smooth it is like for example if i zoom in you can actually not see where the cutoff line is right it's that smooth so it's pretty cool so now imagine having this kind of like um image right again there's a few options also provided for you guys um if you see on the um, right hand side of your um, toolbars or uh, panel property you guys can actually have it's provided another three options so isn't that cool this is one this is number two i really like this this is pretty cool now again i'm trying to think of um what can we do with this kind of image right um again i was thinking of a mission the mission is to create a poster out of this what poster exactly um you guys notice how there's always this news about fire you know forest fire and there's like a lot of animals die in there um so i thought it would be nice to create a poster to create a venice um and i thought of like why don't we use this particular image and convey message i think this would work um okay i want to give it a try um now that we have this poster over here i thought it would be nice to convert this into a poster where we can create events like to tell people you know stop fire you know do create any fire love them love animals love forest love nature um so we're gonna do that so i have this image right here and how do i convert this into a poster um again this poster should be about you know, at one look, at one glance, it should give me that um, meaning behind it. Um, basically, clock is ticking. You know, we are running out of time. Please act now. So I do have like a title for it. It's called Time's Up for Life, Wildlife. And act now, you know, for, for a future, a better future for the animals. Um, so let me do this right now. What I'm going to do is I am going to go back to my original image, which is that. So this was created by generative field. I am gonna just press on W and press on select subject. Okay, I already have that image selected, but what I'm going to do now is that I'm gonna go up here, uh, again, maintaining uh, my layer here. I'm gonna just copy this image. Again, you don't have to worry about smart objects since we already have a copy at the bottom. And I want you guys to press on shift command V so that this image of this Bambi appears or pays right where it, it was before. So what I mean by that is that even if I hide these two images underneath here, the Bambi image is still uh, visible, right? So that's the Bambi. And so I'm going to just leave it like that. Like I said before, I want to create a poster that has a meaning behind it. Like, for example, uh, what are things that I can associate when it comes to like time is running and whatever not. So I thought of like, why don't I create a huge round clock um, floating at the back of this deer? And don't worry about the wording and whatever. Not. I just want to get the concept right, which is the clock. And probably also make the forest to have a bit of flames and fire. Um, you know what? I probably do that first. I am going to create a new layer here. I am... Not new layer. I'm going to click on the Misty Forest that I created. I am going to just highlight the forest here. Let's say if this works. I just want to put forest fire. Again, it's just to add into the concept of what I'm trying to create, right? It's about clock is ticking. You know, we have we got to do something. So let's see if I get what I want. Um, so basically, I just want a bit of fire in the forest. Hope it works. And if you notice, I highlighted the... Um, oh, this double deer. Um, highlighted the forest. And then I ignore the deer. That's why the deer is visible. 
there's no fire here. This fire is pretty too much. I am gonna need to generate a few more. Let's generate. So basically, to have a bit of fire, again, we can always add in fire ourselves. Again, it can be generative field plus photo manipulation. Um, again, I right now, I'm just looking at a couple of options that might work. And you don't have to worry about the different uh, output that's generated. You can always find all the variations of the generative field right on your properties panel. Okay, let's see. Is the... Is there another three option that I can use? So it's um so it's super important to also uh always try out different options. Like for example, if you already get something and then you are unsure if that's the one, you can always modify it. So you don't have to worry like, do I need to work with this piece, right? Um, there's also a few. Oh, I kind of like this though. I like a bit of fire over here. I probably add more, but the problem here is that there's actually another deer. Um, I am gonna stamp that out very quickly. And how do I do that? Let me just uh, do a manual fixing by removing the deer. There you go. Cool. Done. Um, I thought of like adding a bit of fire. And how do I do that? I have a couple of stock images that I can use. Uh, let me show you guys what I have. I do have a bit of fire. I'm going to bring this here. Okay, I have a fire camp. Again, today we'll be looking at generative field and photo manipulation. And I'm going to just remove the screen. Let's put a fire here. Just resize it. Just put it aside. Um, I do have a couple more. I do have this. Let's um, make it a screen. Let's put it over there. We are going to do a bit of masking over here. Um, again, like my previous um, streams, if you notice, I, I do um, guide you guys through how do you actually remove the black outline. Like for example, if you have image like this, all you have to do is to remove the black marks all around. Just change normal layer to screen. Even if you do so, you probably will still have a bit of tint of light. If I zoom in, you get to see all this blue tint and whatever. Not. That's because the um, black is not really black it's a bit of contrasty black so in order to fix that just press on ctrl l or command l and just drag the black um slider the one right on the left hand side drag it so that it vanishes there you go it's gone and now it's good so i am gonna just put it there and i am gonna just do a bit of uh, masking I have a brush over here. Resize it. There you go. I'm gonna just do a bit of erasing going on here. Pretty cool. Again, this is just to guide you through, like, for example, we literally. This is the original image. Again, I like to go before and after to show you guys how far we have come within minutes. So this is the original image and we're already here. Again, with the help of like generative feel and whatever not. Okay, this is it. And do we have a question actually? Oh, we do. Flynn is asking what is your favorite animal? <laughs> okay, I, I do answer the same answer everywhere I go. I love peacock. And there's ones where my my I think my colleagues they were asking me like what's your favorite uh, animal that love to fly and whatever. And I was like oh peacock and they were laughing. They were like no peacock cannot fly and I was like no peacock can fly. And there was like an argument. We Google it. Apparently, P 
peacock can fly it's just like it's not like pigeons where they can keep you know floating in the air they do fly but they just move from mountains and they flew down to the forest and that's it they don't really fly fly so well <laughs> that's something so but yeah i love peacock peacock is my favorite animal exactly they can fly johanna backstage she said the same so yeah cool so now that we're done with this i do have one more fire hmm i shall leave it first i think this is pretty cool it kind of give me the um, what do you call the idea already behind it what i'm going to create um if you remember earlier i told you guys that i want to create this floating clock so there's like a concept right clock is ticking and whatever not so i am going to create a new layer okay first layer let's call this um bambi uh, for this layer i am gonna highlight like these because i need a huge clock i'll tell you why right so i want to create a clock uh that's it like the prom should be something along a line along the line um round vintage again depending on what you remember i really love uh, vintage clock because i think vintage looks better here not so much of like modern or, or maybe in howard glass something that we can try later on um round vintage clock okay let me see what you can do so i thought of like creating the clock that is floating. Ah, I forgot the word floating, but it's okay. I can always create. So it's like floating or either it, it stands on the sand, uh, on the grass and whatever not. It's to, to actually give this impression of like clock is ticking, you know, act fast. Oh, that's pretty huge. Oh, there's actually a guy over there. Now, this is pretty cool. But the problem is that there's a very contrasty. Like for example, I can't really see the deer. This is too huge. So I am gonna... Uh, go back i'm gonna hide this i'm gonna highlight floating like these okay let's go for floating vintage clock round round clock i hope that works okay basically it's floating right in the back of the deer let's see what we get Flynn said, said, I didn't know that. Yeah, they literally cannot fly. So so what's your favorite animal, people? Whoever that's online, thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate your time and I hope you learn something new. Oh, that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, oh they actually hide the um, tree at the back, but no worries. I shall change it soon. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I need to do a bit of masking and I need to do a... Uh, let's do another round, okay? Again, um, let's look for um, floating old round vintage. Floating old vintage uh, round clock. I don't know. Let's see what I get. No, the per um again if you don't really get what you want don't have to worry you can keep generating and then you can modify right on top of it which i'm planning to do right after this i'm going to use whatever i already have and then create a messaging oh, that's pretty it's like uh melting the clock this is cool ah we're getting there but watch the clock there's so many uh pins and whatever not that's okay i really like this actually Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm trying to think what's the... Okay, let's go with this one. This is pretty cool. Okay, but I do want to hide certain things. Uh, again, I'm trying to do um, masking. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to change my... Um... So I'm going to create um, a uh, like a circle around the um, clock because I am planning to mask the rest. Okay, this is highlighted, but I'm going to switch invert that particular clock and I am going to remove this, the rest, because I really like the forest just now. There you go. 
like I said earlier, right? If you don't get what you want, you can always modify. You don't go like, oh, I don't get what I want. So you are in control. That's pretty cool. And I thought the color can be slightly vintage. Um, so what I'm going to do now is that by pressing on the clock itself layer, press on Command U or Control U, and let's reduce the color. Right, I don't really like the sharp color, so this would do, and it's literally floating. That's pretty cool. Um, exactly, Flynn says prompting is the new soft skill to develop. So hard to figure out. Yes. That's very true. It's pretty hard at times. Like, you know, you have it here, but to translate that to words could be a little challenging, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to just move this slightly to the middle. Okay, that should work. Um, Again, so now that I'm done with this, that's a little messaging, right? Like I said earlier that I want to create. Um, So basically, it's a billboard that I want to create. So imagine you're driving by the roadside or you're just wandering or walking around the city. You, again, you're not knowing what's happening with the other part of the world. I think it would be nice to actually have this billboard right on top there so that people can look at it, you know, again, to create an awareness. So that's that. And I was thinking also the, the, the clock looks very clean. Um, maybe we can add few items as well on top of this now that we are here. Um, let's actually, now that I'm here, all of a sudden I get an idea. What if there's a bird standing here? Let's, I don't know, just try it. Uh, Kingfisher? I don't know if <laughs> that small little um, square you can fit kingfisher, it's a type of bird that catches fish, that loves fish. So um, maybe it's, yeah, there you go. This is exactly what I want. Yes. So yeah, sorry, I'm pretty excited. So especially when you got what you want. So let's look at a couple of options we have. This is option one, option two. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. So that's pretty cool. Rather than having a clean looking um, clock. And I am going to create another prompt. What if, what if some um, leaves, uh, leaves hanging on the clock? Okay, let's try it out. Hope it works. So it's, um, it's important to also um, always expand your your idea by incorporating items that, that might work. For example, uh, in the beginning of this um, stream, I did say that, uh, oh, that's a huge leaves. Maybe I should say something else, but it does look cool though. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I, You know what? I'm going to just leave it <clears throat> because it's a concept idea. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, wines. Ah. Okay, good one. Okay, I'm gonna keep this and um, Flynn say wines. Wines hanging on the clock. The reason is because again, I wanna just frame it nicely so that it doesn't look like um, just floating there for no reason. Something should just go along the clock. Um, can be rude, you know what I mean? So yeah. So let's see what I get. But yeah, that's the idea. Basically, oh, oh, I'm getting something. That's a grapes. <laughs> okay, it's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, oh, I do have another prompt that I can try. Uh, while plants hanging around the clock. I don't know. Let's see. Basically, so that it doesn't look so clean. So yeah, again, we are creating a poster to create awareness. Let's see what do we get. <laughs> yeah, it's thinking of a great wine. <laughs> Super excited. Let's see what do I get. What do I get? Oops. Oh, no. What's that? Okay, that's pretty cool. Another clock hanging. Okay, you know what? I am going to go for this. 
the colors looks awesome okay so imagine we have this right now right okay so another thing that we're going to do is bambi looks slightly um low exposed so we're going to increase the exposed by let's go down here let's go for brightness and contrast again press on alternate option so that you just mask that bambi and then let's go back to the brighten contrast increase the brightness that works so without it it's a bit off there you go looks cool um again um so now that we have this i thought it would be nice to actually have create this or resize this into a billboard but there would be a um, challenge there uh, what challenge exactly i'll let you know in a bit so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create select all copy merge control new paste it here i have another thing that i want to do i want to change the sky uh, probably it can be better for that let's go to um, edit sky replacement one of my favorite and we are going to change certain things um again i want a sky that might work for this i don't know exactly what cloudy might work um oh that's pretty cool oh this 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 might work because you don't want to have like you know sunshine blue sky because again it should convey a message that it should make people go like, oh my god, I need to... You know, blue sky gives me a different impression. So, probably this will work. Okay, I am happy with this. I'm going to click OK. Um, I'm going to just um, merge everything by selecting... Just convert into a smart object. Okay, very quickly. There's a reason behind it. And now... I'm going to just expand the canvas right now I by pressing on C. Um, this is a new thing uh, with Generative Field is that you can now control the ratios within Generative Field. If you remember back then, uh, before the beta version, I can't remember, maybe um, the second update or whatever not, you can only go to edit um, uh, image crop. Oh, it's disabled here uh, because I'm here. So it's cropped and then you'll be able to resize it. Now, all you have to do is press on C and you will get automatically a ratio right underneath here. So there's like 16 by 9, you want square uh, and whatever not. So I am planning to go by 16 by 9 because I need a billboard size. So let's resize this very quickly and expand the canvas. Uh, like this and generate I really hope it will generate sort of like spacing for me to add in some copy let's see how it goes house thing online do you guys have any questions do feel free to ask Ooh, ah, I know what's wrong you know you're not supposed to make it a smart object or is it let me just quickly make a duplicate of this and rasterize these and then see okay i should just leave it like that hmm maybe it's generating the entire uh entire clock i think that's what's happening entire canvas or is just that space no worries ah there you go Perfect. This is exactly what I want. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is amazing. So I'm going to just, again, highlight this too. Resize it slightly bigger like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. And did you notice how... Oops, cancel. Do you notice how um, seamless it is, the background? Like, it just know how to figure it out. Like, for example, the grass how it continuously expanding here and then the trees are all looking very like equal like same and type of trees it's pretty cool and i love the cloud so it it kind of gives the um, impression of like um 
you know like the awareness that i was telling, talking about earlier um very sad looking scene um so yeah next i am planning to do this um let's press on let's go back to this layer here oh why did they generate smoke before was it because the clock and the deer was a smart object yes i think so too i'm not sh um if i'm not mistaken even the image that we drag is smart object um maybe that is the reason i'm not so sure but yeah i'll try to figure out why that happened and then i'll let you guys know and now we are gonna just um go back to the previous layer here i press on w oops no w and select subject okay i have this selected which is perfect but there's another thing that i'm planning to do i shouldn't have uh, resized it yet okay you know what let's create some sort of because i want to put some wordings over here and i'll be nice to actually color pick something from this uh particular artwork which is that one that's pretty cool um i need a gradient again i have the gradient that i want and i'm gonna just apply it just like this um maybe more by dragging this over there again we are creating a poster so obviously we need some copy and but there's a reason why i'm doing this because i need some copy placement to be done over there but if you notice it's kind of overlaying on this um, image that we created that's the reason why you need to go back to the layer uh, underneath here press on w where this image is here right so press on w press on select subject i want you to go back to the um gradient layer which is this one shift con con control I so that you switches invert the whole selection and start removing oops did I do the wrong side of it ah okay my bad do not invert it just erase this just like that why because I want to make sure that it it's clear the messaging like the image should be very visible uh you can always have a manual fixing by just brushing just tiny little bit so that it still looks smooth right um there you go just like this pretty cool again here you can always do adjustment as well um again my favorite color lookup let's go for color lookup okay we have few um 3d strip this is to enhance the color we have edgy ember this is too much let's just introduce reduce the opacity just a bit will do oh slightly warmer yeah that's what i want okay so imagine again we're creating a poster by just again let me just quickly go back <laughs> and show you guys this is how it was uh when we started in our, our stream earlier and this is the artwork that we created using generative fill and then we are now here now let's do a bit of typography um, i do have the copy with me already um, i'm gonna just paste it here okay it basically stays um time's up uh for wildlife so again color pick something from the artwork itself that will do let's put it here and then maybe wildlife can go down Let's increase the font size. There you go. And if you're wondering how do you, this is such a big gap, right? So you can always play with the character, obviously. Let's go for 0.60, but then increase it. Okay, that should do. Let's increase it. okay nice um we do have sub copy um so that we give the um sort of like what we want people to do there you go 
act now to ensure a future for animals. Like for example, you see how a poster like this that can be done within uh, minutes, within uh, one hour actually, um, things that can take might take so much of time of yours. Like for example, imagine creating this like in a manipulation process like for example something that i i've been doing for uh, many years now is basically going um looking for um images of a clock manipulating it getting it in into photoshop cutting it out um find the bird like for example the kingfisher i need to look for that image um but again my my point is here is that Try to save up your time by using tools that's already available for you guys. So yeah, this is this is this is nice. <laughs> so yeah, always find time to um practice. So imagine this. Oh wow, we already created a poster. Isn't that cool? Love this. Okay, we should align it to the center. Again, like this, um, press on V. If you are in any particular layer, just press on V until you get the alignment um, toolbar on. Press on this, then, yep, then we know it's in the center. So again, this poster was created within minutes. Imagine what you guys can create when you have three or four hours, right? Um, Mind-blowing um, posters, of course. Um, right, so this is one option. What are other things that we can do um, with photo um, Photoshop beta? Again, we have different animals. Um, also, koala bear. There's also tiger. And um, I was just thinking, what can I create using generative field? Again, similar way how I created the deer. Um, I thought of like creating this uh, using this tiger. So let's create a new poster. Um, let you go. You know what? Let's just resize it from here. Press on C. Uh, I'm looking for a 16 by 9. But... Can I even rotate it here? Maybe I can. Or just use the ratio and expand it up. Again, I'm trying to um, original canvas. I'm going to just expand it just like this. And let's see what it creates. Again, it's all depending on your idea and the prompts. Um, feel free to explore and see what you guys can create. Um, again, promise the power. This is pretty cool. Um, love it already okay again back of my head i was thinking it's running away from somewhere what i can do is i can uh just highlight it just like this uh let's call this um forest i don't know how you will create the different dimension like for example the ratio let's see maybe again you will never know Again, it can be forest on fire. Again, another messaging using different animal. Oh. Oh, it's just the the, the branches. Okay, let's see. Um, forest. Fire. Again, the beauty here is that no matter what image that you have uh, with you, you literally can create mind-blowing results. Again, just play around with different uh, prompts and whatever not. Let's see, what do I get this time? Ooh, a bit of fire, I need more. Ooh, this might work. So I am going to just use this and, you know, you can always convey message using different... Uh, Oh, I already have this. Let's see. So I have this image. I'm gonna just make it to screen. There you go. That's pretty cool. So 
So I am going to just position this in a way that and adjust the levels. Just like these. Um, let's do a bit of masking. Let's make it even more. <clears throat> So I just want the branches to be on fire. So I'm doing this <clears throat> manual fixing. And we need to make it slightly darker so that it looks real right um let's go to the brightness and contrast and then adjust it like this then you can even uh, add in more stuff do we have a question oh okay a quick heads up we are just 15 minutes left with rames just me any questions let me go oh there's a question here's a question from me is there any environment you haven't made <laughs> Oh my god, it's a difficult question. I I don't know. I've yeah. done so many uh different um artworks that I've I don't know is there anything else left? I've done space, I've done desert. Um I don't know outer space, done planets, uh underneath the sea, I'm done. I've done a couple of it in Adobe Life itself. I I don't know if I left anything else. That's a very tough question. <laughs> so this is one option we're talking about. Okay, I'm going to just uh, hide these so that you guys can see the different options later. So this is option one. Option two, what else can I create? Like for example, let's highlight here. Let's call this um, LEN. Can it create land out of that? Let's again. This is just a test to to see you know what else you guys can create out of um, an image. Oh, this land doesn't look so natural. Oh, oh no. But yeah, even this is not so close enough. Uh, maybe I should change my prom. Let's call this um. Misty Forest. Oh, I can actually zoom out um, or resize the tiger even more smaller and then I get to have more space to cover up with. Um, that's the thing I think you've done with them all. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Uh, with fire i just need something to incorporate some fires and to show you guys you know there's unlimited things that you guys can create with generative fuel let's see we do have another um image koala bear if you guys want to try let's see let's see let's see oh no it's not oh a bit of fire or oh, just a bit or should I say massive fire in the first? So always explore um, and try out different things using generative field. Again, we are playing, we are playing with a different generative field prompts just to see what we're gonna get. Oh, that's pretty massive. Oh, it's too much. This might work as if somebody's holding the fire um, using the stick. So that's one option. Again, from this, recap this. We went to this and then we got this. That's pretty cool. Looks slightly vintage and whatever. Not. So there you go, a billboard um, signage. Okay, we do have koala bear, but I'm not sure we have time. Uh, but yeah, maybe not. I don't take any risk. <laughs> so
So yeah, this is what we have done for today. Imagine how far we have come. Uh, we literally find out the many different possibilities that we can create using generative field and convey different messaging. Uh, today's highlight is of course the deer and how we use the image from this. We change the different uh, background to see which one suits well. And then we went for this one. And then in here, we create like the clock, the leaves, the kingfisher, the clock itself. And we even changed the whole forest from this to this. And we even applied um, fire on both sides of this artwork. So yeah, these are the stuff that can be done. Um, in um, Photoshop beta. Generative field is super amazing. Do give it a try and um, again, infinite possibilities. And again, like I said, something like this can be created within minutes. So, so please do give it a try. And thank you so much for joining my stream. There will be another stream coming next week. Do stay tuned and please invest in your skill. so much for joining um and i'll see you next week <laughs>